Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. Beans, beans, they make you, well, you know the rest. Hi, my name is Mark and I made a choice today. Today we're gonna to be preparing some of our beans that we'll eat throughout the week. We prepare them in advance and we put them in the fridge. That way they're ready, we can pull them out in a hurry and we eat them with almost every meal that we have. They are a good source of nutrition for us as well as fiber and very, very inexpensive. Now I know some of you may be concerned that our house must stink to high heaven with all the beans that we eat. There is a short chain carbohydrate in beans. It's called a galacto oligosaccharide. That's what actually causes that. Uh, it gets consumed very quickly by the bacteria in your gut, uh, and then they can give off uh, what we eventually uh, can perceive as the gas that comes from that. Now, there are some ways to minimize that. Uh, that is a water soluble uh, uh, carbohydrate. So it does dissolve in water. We like to soak our beans and then drain that water off. Also, if you're getting your beans out of a can, make sure you dump that water that they come in and then rinse them. Uh, there's almost like a soapy, foamy substance that comes off of a canned bean. Just keep rinsing them until that goes away. It's not soap, it's just part of the process uh, that causes that uh, situation in your gut. So join us in the kitchen as we put up some beans today uh, and maybe we'll put on some music and it won't be the musical fruit make you toot. So we'll be working with some of our beans today in the kitchen. Jennifer is making some soup over at the stove. Uh, beans, onions, ginger. What kind of soup are you making, Jen? I'm making um, butternut chickpea lentil soup, cauliflower sweet potato soup, and a chickpea curry. So we will eat that throughout the week. I am going to be soaking and preparing some of these beans. We buy them at the grocery store. Uh, sometimes we buy them in cans. Sometimes we buy them dry. The dry is new to us. Uh, we're not sure that we, we think the dry are going to end up being less expensive. Um, when you buy them like this, it, pound for pound, it seems like the cans are less expensive. But that's dry weight. So once we hydrate these beans, they should double in weight, which should make them half as expensive. There's also a little bit of salt added. Uh, to the canned beans. We do try to stay away from that. We have uh, lentils, yellow split peas, black beans, chickpeas, also called garbanzo beans, small white beans, great northern beans, and black beans. Now you may hear people use the terms legum, legumes and beans. They're not really interchangeable. All beans are legumes, but not all legumes are necessarily beans. The difference, the biggest difference, uh, beans are seeds from plants. Like green beans aren't really beans because the fruit of the plant is actually inside of a pod. Like think of a peanut, there's the peanut shell and then the nut is inside. So that's the fruit of the plant being in a pod. Still a legume, but not a bean. Beans are actually seeds. Both though, very high in protein, uh, filled with nutrients, minerals, fibers, very low fat, no cholesterol. Some of those minerals you're gonna get are folate, potassium, and magnesium. They are a very healthy substitute for meat, uh, if that's something that you're working on. We use them in soups, stews, casseroles, uh, spreads, dips, like hummus. We use our chickpeas, garbanzo beans, uh, for hummus every single week. Uh, sauces. Each bean has its own different taste, slightly different texture. If you want more information on beans, there is actually a bean institute at www.beaninstitute.com. I will put that in the notes. Uh, and I took the quiz. What kind of bean are you? Turns out I'm a great northern bean. Apparently consistency and taking on the flavors of the foods around me is what qualifies me as a great northern bean. So these are black beans, southwest, also known as turtle beans or tampico beans. It's important to rinse them, and when I rinse them, I also sort through them. I separate uh, all the good-looking beans from things that might be stones or beans that have gotten soft or mushy. Uh, you really don't want to bite into a stone once these are cooked. That'll crack a tooth for sure. Uh, so we do a soaking, and then we just pick through them, separate them out. So while we're waiting to get the beans into the Instant Pot, just a quick look at what Jen's doing. This is squash and onions onions and garlic, cauliflower and carrots. Um, man, onions and garlic, super. This uh, is a sweet potato. I'm not quite sure what the sweet potato is trying to be, but it's a sweet potato. So this is our Instant Pot that we're gonna use to cook these beans in. Now normally, if you're not using an Instant Pot, you're gonna wanna soak them first and then boil them. That process could take four, five, even six hours. 
You need to soak them and boil them, first of all, to help break down that oligosaccharide that we talked about before. Uh, also to release, there's some inherent toxicity to beans that needs to be boiled out at a high temperature, and you have to make them more digestible. When you use the Instant Pot, all of that happens quickly. It's a great time saver. We're gonna reduce this down to probably an hour total. That includes the pre-rinse, the sorting out, and the putting it in. We're gonna cook this for about 25 minutes on high with six cups of water, then a natural release of the steam for another 20 minutes. Then if you want to, you can put that in the fridge in little one and a half cup servings. That way, if you have a recipe that calls for a can, you have that amount ready. Sorry for the noise upstairs. There's an epic Nerf battle going on. Um, when we're all done, we're probably gonna go up and either put an end to it or start it and be in it with them. So these are cooking away for the next, you know, maybe an hour total by the time it heats up and we have that steam off. As far as economy goes, 15 ounces of canned beans are gonna give you one and a half cups of cooked beans, whereas one pound of dried beans gives you five cups of cooked. Uh, so really you get a whole lot more pound for pound out of the dried beans. They also have a firmer texture, a little bit of a richer taste. So this Instant Pot being a time saver makes all of that possible for us. One of the great things about black beans is they're really a resistant starch, which gives them a low glycemic index. So for those of you who are working with uh, sugar issues or diabetes treatment, this is a great way to go. So I hope you picked up something new uh, about beans that you didn't know before. Uh, try to incorporate some of them in your diet. Leave us comments uh, down below or questions. Let us know what you think. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe if you get a chance. It does support what we're trying to do here. Have a great week. Make good choices. Please choose joy. And if you find yourself uh, in a situation where things aren't going well, just make a new choice.